Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and I am back here on Performium because someone has asked me to uh, do a quick walkthrough of what voting entails and uh, what, what you get from voting and all that kind of stuff. So I figured I would just go ahead and make a quick little video while we're waiting for one of the steps that I do in order to... Uh, get this process rolling. Why don't you take a look at my new and updated subscribe banner? It looks like it says subscribe on it, or as close as I could approximate using some brick and some other little tricks. But look at that happy little face waiting for you to subscribe. Uh, so what I'm going to do is what when I do my voting, uh, which, by the way, I guess I should just do the slash vote so you can see these five websites to do your voting on uh, topg.org will probably ask you to uh, log into something like uh, I don't know discord or something to prove that you're a human it's way better than the captcha and it's a lot easier anyway so I wish they'd all do it most of the sites have some sort of little check that you're human it doesn't always have you hunt for crosswalks or elephants shaped by clouds uh, or whatever it is that they're asking for but uh, all five of them have a place for you to enter your username and vote and when you do this which I do it right after midnight. When you do this, uh, what happens is for each vote, oh, there it is, 30 seconds until midnight, because Duck SMP reboots at midnight. Um, when you do this, each vote sends a message into chat. And I'm going to uh, let this take me all the way over to Hub automatically in 10 seconds and uh, I will arrive at one of the six or so Performium hubs. And here we are. Oh, there's Stardog. And I am in hub, oh, which one? Well, I'm in over here on the right, it says hub two, and it shows that there are six hubs and there's the Skyblock network hub. Uh, so give me just a sec, oh, there's Cuddles. Uh, give me just a second here, and I will uh, show you what I typically do during the system reboot that happens once per day at midnight on the Duck SMP server. Give me just a second here. Okay, you can't really see what I'm doing over on my uh, web browser, but I have brought up all five of the sites and it is asking me to do the different procedures for voting. Uh, on the first one, I am being asked, let's see here, to find all the pictures containing a horse. There we go. And there's round two. Is there going to be more? Yay, it thinks I'm a human. Good job. And then I will vote. And over on the... Uh, on the dis, or I'm sorry, and over on the Performium uh, hub, you see me standing there, and it says, You voted and received a vote reward token. Type slash vote reward to redeem your key on this server. And I'll cover that when I'm done with all five of my votes. So let me just take care of those real quick. Uh, and finally, over on Minecraft server list dot com is. The final vote, and when you do all five votes, you get an additional 1,000 experience. You can do this every single day. And one gem. Uh, and you can just do this all the time. And as you vote, you get more and more and more rewards. Now, the XP that you get on the server, uh, the the specifically the Performium XP that, that 1,000 represents, is redeemed here this daily rewards guy and if you punch him there are several things you can get every day you can get 100 xp every day if you have a rank of uh, some kind based on your rank you get some uh, server experience every day you get a mystery box if you belong to a club which i do not 
you get a thousand. And if you play uh, a certain amount of time during the day, and I haven't figured out what it is yet because I'm just on all the time, uh, you get some amount of uh, experience plus once you reach the goal of minimum amount played, you get an additional gem. So that's how to get two gems every single day for free. You don't have to do anything else. And those levels, if you click on your head here, are spent here. You can only redeem each one of these milk buckets once. And I already got my level 17 reward. When I get to level 18, I'll be able to redeem this and so on and so on and so forth all the way up to level 200 and i don't think anyone's 200. in fact you can see who is what level by coming over here at the ooh, at the top it goes from 82 all the way down to 70. let's go back to duck smp slash duck and i'm back here again but let's go to spawn here we are uh that mystery box that you get if you happen to get a five-star mystery box from a uh, from that daily rewards guy at Hub, even if you aren't high enough rank to open it, you can see I get a, a message because I'm not high enough rank to open a five-star here. But if you get a five-star from that, no matter what rank you are, you can always open it. So that's a great way to get some really high-end gear, cosmetics rather. The vote rewards get redeemed here. And let me go ahead and get vote reward. All five of those. One. And you can see how many you have remaining in here. With this, you get some vote reward keys. Now, uh, you can redeem them by either going CC and opening the vote reward crate. Oh, I've got 20 keys. Uh, there's a mystery box, or I can right click on that. There's another mystery box, and I'm just going to go ahead and redeem all of these really quick and then come back once I'm done here. It occurs to me that uh, there are a, a couple of other things that need to be shown here, and also I don't know if I'm going to get a representation of all of the rewards so i might as well show this part it's going to be loud mystery boxes money mega crate keys supply crate keys now i'm not sure but i don't think that you can get spawner crate keys or enchantment crate keys uh, from these vote crates because i think those come from the daily weekly and monthly kit keys importantly if you try to redeem a crate that you don't have the key for it just flings you back like that so i have gotten from all of that no cosmetic crates no spawner crates no enchantment crates three supply crates one mega crate and obviously no god crates i got a whole bunch of money the ten thousand dollar things i got a whole bunch of mystery boxes i'm going to show you another thing with those here in a bit but let's see what i got from the mega crate it's something kind of comical. It's mostly for just collectability. There is no buttery three. There is no toasted five. They're just phony uh, custom enchants. Now, uh, there is one other thing about these mystery cr crates that are mystery boxes that I wanted to point out. Oh, I got another five star that's going to just collect dust in my inventory for the foreseeable future. If you have... Uh, let's see here, open multiple boxes. If you have more than one and you don't want to just do the animation for each and every one, at least as far as I know, anyone can open 20 even with no rank. I might be wrong on that. I am going to have to ask around. I'm going to open up to 20 crates at once. It'll do the thing. It'll do the thing. And it will give you this book. That is a summary of what you've gotten. 236 dust, 327 pet items. And I'll show you more about the pet items in a second. I opened 11 mystery boxes and I got three of the, uh, the epics, one rare and a 
boatload of the regular common items. Now I do want to see I have I do have enough to craft one more of that so I'm going to do so. Go ahead and open it. And there we go more mystery dust. Now uh, as far as the cosmetics are concerned uh, you can do some fun things with the cosmetics and not all of them are limited to just being able to do stuff in hub you can wear certain kinds of hats i think i demonstrated that already uh, there's animated hats there are particle effects well i know i can do that that gives me the musical notes but let's do that again let's get rid of any that are there uh, what i like to spend my uh, time doing is it, when i remember you get all these little pet things. And I have a cat that I have named in honor of my deceased cat from uh, earlier in my channel. Anyone who watched me on some of my old stuff uh, probably remembers me mentioning Oliver, who was an orange tabby. And so in honor of Oliver, here is a level 21 Oliver. And the level, I don't really understand what its merit is but what you can do with your pets is whatever pet that you have open you can provide care and it brings up this interface and those pet supply items go towards this and uh it, it only stacks up to 64 but you can see i have 230 more of this 224 more of that each animal has a random chance of having a favorite drink a favorite food and a favorite kind of exercise my cat likes that it is their favorite drink plus 50 thirst and then i'll just go ahead and do that twice the fish just happens to be their favorite food and the slime ball the bouncy ball is their favorite toy so what i've done is i have given 50 twice to each of hunger thirst and exercise and now my cat is super happy here's where that comes into play you can send your pet on a mission. Your pet has to be at a certain level of happiness, either happy or higher. Happy, very happy, or super happy. And you can send your pet on a mission. Let's do that now. And it says down here, Oliver earned 800 XP from the pet mission. It leveled up. Now, you can name your pet, uh, but I have no idea what to do with the pet other than just have it wander around. So I'm just going to uh, go back here and reset all my cosmetics. Goodbye, Oliver. I will talk to you later. Uh, beyond that, there is also, well, let me doff my hat. There is also an assortment of banners. So here's a, a portal banner. It's on my head. You don't have to have the com the hat command for this to work. And it looks like you're wearing a portal. It's kind of interesting. Uh, there is also over here uh, some emote options. And uh, you must remove your item in slot three. Slot three. Okay. I've learned something. So if I do this, it puts it on my head. Ah, there we go. I have the yay emote and it lasts for some amount of seconds and let's clear that out of my hot bar okay and then finally there are some cloaks I only have one cloak and it is the scanner cloak so there's cosmetic things that everyone can see that you can run around with uh, oh I, there's one that I forgot to do let's turn that off and bring this up i like to be followed around by mars here we go mar oh, well uh let's f5 that was horrifying so here's mars it follows me around and spins and flies and it's just there even if you have fly it follows you around so there we go mars i have another one it is a spooky ghost i'll probably have this for halloween from time to time, it is adorable. 
But that is what the cosmetics are. Uh, you get those. Oh, there's Cuddles. She's got something. She's got some particles on her head and something. That is a Mr. Smiley, apparently. Here comes Cuddles with her Mr. Smiley and her smoke particles above her head. Mr. Smiley. Oh, okay. That's somehow more troubling. It's spewing out slime. The swamp monster. Oh, that's a great face. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's really neat. Anyway, so that's what the cosmetics are. That's where you can uh, spin those pet things. Uh, well, not on these, but that's where the pets go is in the cosmetics. There's a bunch of cosmetics things to do. And they are uh, a varying rarity. So I think that's all I needed to cover. I showed you my method that I use for keeping track of when to vote. I wait for the server to reset at midnight because I'm on at midnight. And then I do my votes either in Hub or I come back here and do them. I redeem my vote rewards. And then I spend the keys that I get from that on these different crates. And then I do any spillover work with the mystery boxes. And then I occasionally interact with my pet cat. I only really use Oliver, but that's I, I could use all of them if I wanted. But uh, that's that's what I do on a daily basis. I get kicked to hub, I vote, I redeem keys. So that is the vote and key situation. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give a like. It helps support my channel. And also, so does subscribing. I am ever striving for that 2000 mark and beyond uh, and would love to have you as a new subscriber. But I'm going to let you go. There's Cuddles. Thank you very much for watching. This is Turn of Night. There's Cuddles. And I will talk to you later.